Yes, thank you, Michel Coutumont. I hope I said that right. Yeah. Bonjour, everybody. Bonjour. Bonjour. You can tell that I'm not from Canada. Huh? Bonjour. Bonjour. Well, it's nice to be here in uh, Montreal. Wonderful time. Got off the plane today. It was raining. I was so excited because I hate summertime. I hate hot weather. Most people won't admit it. Most people don't like the heat. I can't wait for summer to get here. As soon as summer gets here, start complaining. It's so hot. You believe this heat? I can't believe how hot it is. <laughs> people hate summertime. They won't say it, but they hate it. I always manage to run into a guy that remembers the day that was hotter. You ever run into that jackass? Always. I always run into him. It can be 95 degrees outside. He's standing around going, 95? I ain't nothing. I remember when it was 195. Remember that day? <laughs> yeah, fish getting out of water, looking for shade. That was a hot day, boy. I ain't come outside that day. Had a little problem with my air conditioner in LA. I live in Los Angeles now. And uh, my air conditioner stopped working. So you know what I did? I went out and bought a fan to replace my air conditioner. Most of y'all laugh because you know fans don't keep you cool. They just help move some of that hot air around the house for you. <laughs> you know, a fan is just for that. A hot air redistributing unit, that's what it is. You turn on a fan when you want the hot air from the living room to be blown into the kitchen. Yeah, I like a nice miserable breeze in my house. Turn on the fan, honey. We could sweat all over the house. Why don't they just give up the fan people? <laughs> they keep making fans. The fan is obsolete. Since the creation of the air conditioner, we don't need fans anymore. But they will not give up. Keep trying to improve on them. The oscillating fan. That's the one the woman sold me. She's very excited about that too. Yeah, this is a good fan. It oscillates. I didn't have the nerve to tell her. I don't even know what the word oscillate means. You know. <laughs> I know it sounds like something you don't want to catch your fan doing. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a real, real nasty thing that fans do? <laughs> you come home, it's like, oh my God, the fan's oscillating. God. <laughs> Get the kids out of here. I don't want them to see that. <laughs> Flew in, had a nice flight. Me and flight attendants do not get along. Had a flight attendant yell at me on the plane. Why? Because I stood up when the plane was landing. She nearly lost her mind. Sir, sit down. The pilot's trying to land the plane. Oh, join her! <laughs> so what? I can't believe the fact that I'm standing interferes with his ability to land the plane. <laughs> How the hell is he flying? Is he back in the plane then? Sit down, man. I can't see your heads in the way. Sit down, I'm trying to land. Just shut up and land the plane. They make such a big deal out of anything. The seat tray, do you think they can land a plane without everybody's seat tray being up? Once in my lifetime, I'd like to meet one captain brave enough to give it a try. <laughs> They're all scared to death, so you have to have your seat tray up. Man, my seat tray must be up. Like the landing gear is connected to the seat tray or something. <laughs> That's what the captain and the co-pilot are talking about. Captain, we can't lose altitude, what's the problem? I don't know, must be a seat tray down back there. So. <laughs> I bet it's that same jackass who was standing with his head in the way. <laughs> she would sit down and put his tray up. I'm trying to land. <laughs> I used to drive until my car was stolen. If anybody's ever been through that, you know it's just a humiliating situation. Someone steals your car. And the weird thing about someone stealing your car is, I don't care how smart you are, for a minute or so, you can't figure out what the hell happened. You know. I came outside, I started circling the area where I knew I parked the car, just going, what? <laughs> Looking down the street, maybe you'll see it scurrying off somewhere. <laughs> You're in denial about the fact that your car is stolen. I think some of that denial comes from the fact that somebody else is driving your car. Most of us don't like other people driving our car. If you don't think you have this sickness, give yourself a little test. Yeah, get one of your friends, put them in your car, put them in the driver's seat, and you sit in the passenger seat and let them drive. Just see how bitchy you become after a minute or so. <laughs> you be sitting there going, why come you turning like that, man? Turning like what? Like that, man, come on. And don't mash on the accelerator. Oh, just get out of my car, just get out. Yeah. So I'm from a large family. I'm one of eight kids. I think my mom had too many kids. I think eight kids is too many, you know? It really is, that's too many kids to have. You know, you have eight of anything, some of them are gonna come out screwed up, you know? <laughs> If you have eight pairs of shoes, you may like them all, but some of them hurt your feet. I just, uh, they hurt. That's my family, boy. My four younger brothers, the baddest kids in the world. And another problem, my problem, my, my mother's problem was she did not whip my younger brothers. When I was growing up, I got whippings when I did things wrong. You know, my brothers got time out. Have you heard of this nonsense time out? Isn't that crazy time out? We had belt out. <laughs> That's right. Pants down and ass whooped, that's what we had. 
And it was very effective, to tell you the truth. Time out. Kids don't understand this time out. You tell a kid after doing something wrong to go to his room for five minutes and think about what he's done, he's thinking, hell, I got five minutes to mess up something in here. You know. <laughs> Apparently, they weren't impressed with my tirade in the living room. <laughs> you have to whip your kids. I don't know if people have kids. I don't know if you're whipping them or not, but you should start. Because time out does not work. It does not work. You cannot raise kids by that. You must whoop them. You have to whoop your kids. I can't wait to have kids so I can whoop their ass. I can't wait. <laughs> I just cannot wait. They need whoopings. <laughs> My brothers, boy. Got sisters, too. My youngest sister's into this tattoo thing. She's getting all these tattoos. She's getting tattooed because it's trendy, which I think is the stupidest reason to get a tattoo, don't you think? Because it's in style. That's like having bell-bottom pants surgically attached to your legs. That's like... <laughs> you just got carried away. Yeah, I really like these, man. Could you staple them on there? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And the body piercing. Ah. Oh. Just stop it. People getting holes put everywhere on their body. It's just crazy. I can understand the belly button. That's kind of cute. You know. The nose ring. When you start doing the eyebrow, what do you need a ring in your eyebrow for? What is that good for? Other than so somebody can just grab and go, come here. What's wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? <laughs> it just looks silly. They get real creative, too, you know. I saw a woman, she had this part of her throat pierced, you know. And they're all in denial about the pain. They never remember anything hurting when they get pierced. A friend of mine has her tongue pierced. I asked her, did it hurt? No, it didn't hurt. What do you mean it didn't hurt? Hey, I've bit my tongue. It hurts. <laughs> you ever bite your tongue and almost pass out? Uh, 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 uh. It's the most pain you can inflict on yourself by accident. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> but no, if you get pierced, no pain. No pain at all. I don't even like the word piercing. You know, they should call it what it is. You're putting a hole somewhere a hole does not belong. You know? That's what it is. Don't call it piercing. Sounds too mild. Like when somebody takes a knife and stabs you, you don't go, oh my God, I've been pierced. No. <laughs> no yeah, I've, been, I've been stabbed. Quick, get me a hoop. <laughs> no. It's very severe. <laughs> but everybody's doing it. It's the coolest thing in the world. Body piercing and tattooing. It's basically, it's mutilation as far as I'm concerned. What's going to be cool next? Cosmetic amputation? <laughs> There'll be people walking around. What happened to your thumb? Ah, you like that, huh? <laughs> Thanks, you've been great. I got to go. Thank you.